iyo incident as in that particular one iyo kitu ndile as in ilifanya nikasema hata kama ni pesa acha ikae hata kama ni nini acha ikae like nilikuwa sasa nimesema bas kama ni mbaya mbaya i want to go home like now nataka kwenda nilifika airport bila bag bila nguo bila simu bila sweta the only thing i had ni abaya abaya ni um, bui bui hiyo kitu ndio nilichukua nikavaa na nikakuja nikabea ni pia sweta akasema no sweta utapata huko Kenya my name is helen ndege i'm 29 years old i'm a mother of one uh, the reason why i'm here today is to share my story or my experience while i was in saudi arabia like many kenyans when you wana to kapa wakienda saudi ama wenye wana kwa na hiyo idea ya kwenda saudi kubadilisha life yao kama mimi vile niliambiwa mara ya kwanza i was very happy i was so excited nilijua hii ndio moment yangu and your life it a change but uh, it was never to happen ile nilikuwa nafikiria i went there na nikapata vitu ni totally different from what i expected um for me ilifika point kurudi home ilikuwa ni kama dream haikuwa rahisi um life yangu ikakuwa at risk nikawa nime lose hope I didn't know who to talk to. I didn't know where to go. Nilikuwa ni kama prisoner. But uh, for me to be here today to share my story, it's a miracle and uh, by God's hands. It took God himself for me to be here. Huko Kenya nilifanya kazi ya house help for almost 10 years. Na by that time nilikuwa nafanya kazi si kwa na mtoto. So life ilikuwa too rahisi because nilikuwa na manage. So in between nikapata ball. Eh uh, ilikuwa 2016 nikapata ball. Ilibidi so ile nipata ball of course so siwezi fanya kazi kwa nyumba ya mtu. So ilibidi niende home ushago nijifungue kwanza so after kujifungua nikaka like five months nikarudi Nairobi kwa hustle because ilikuwa tena ngumu kukaushago na mtoto so i came back to Nairobi tena ku hustle nikapata kazi hoteli nikafanyia kazi hoteli for almost three years so nilikuwa na plan to yanze shule the following year of which alikuwa anaenda kwanza shule na three years and a half but hiyo uh, pesa nilikuwa nafanya hoteli ilikuwa ni nilikuwa nafanya 250 per day alafu nalipa nyumba uko na uko na mtoto mara mtoto ni mgonjwa mtu ni msiku unajaribu ku save haiku inasevika so opportunity ya kwenda Saudi ilikuja oh madam wenye alikuwa anamfanya job kwa hoteli alikuwa Saudi before na akarudi alika for almost four years and then akarudi na akafungua biashara so after kama two years after amesha kuja mdosi wake akampigia tena akamwambia arudi job kama anaweza arudi job tena Saudi and alikuwa ashafungua business yake of course angewacha so na mimi nilikuwa hapo So oh, mama kasema eh mimi siwezi rudi but naweza kupatia mtu mwenye namjua na nam trust ni mtu mzuri akaniambia Helen unaweza fanya kazi Saudi na hiyo time yenye ilikuwa nimeambiwa unaweza fanya kazi Saudi I felt like hata nachelewa cause nilikuwa nahitaji pesa the most na na vile niliza huu mtu ali alienda missing so ile bakitu na mimi na mtoto of course nilikuwa nasikia watu wanaenda Saudi watu wanateswa watu wanawawa mtu anarudi umechomwa 
but in a finger point au fikiri and of course oh mama pia alikuwa anaona alienda alirudi so acha mimi pia ende nijaribu but yango within three weeks passport ilikuwa imekuja nikaona vitu zinaenda mbio nikaenda nikatengeza good conduct so ilikuwa ana good conduct na nikona passport nikuwa ready so mother akaniconnect na agent mwenye alimpeleka Saudi ya before na huyo agent yuko Mombasa nikaenda training for one month Mombasa and then uko kwa training mna training wa kupika kupiga pasi hizi tu kazi normal zenye hata mtu anajua na training wa kupiga pasi kupika rice um, kumob kutumia washing machine of maybe washing machine ndio siko nimetumia but the rest nilikuwa najua and then being a first born girl na just so nilikuwa nimeachiwa hizi responsibility kama ku hizi za nyumba mimi ndo nilikuwa niki nikishughulika cuz now mamangu sasa alikuwa mgonjwa by that time babangu alikuwa ashakufa so as in most of these things nilikuwa nikizifanya hizi nilikuwa nilikuwa nikijua so kwa training nilikuwa tu wende tu i wish hata ungekuwa anafundisha arabic <laughs> language at least ni kitu tofauti ilikuwa tu vitu najua after one month ikaisha and uh, nikaenda ofisi huko Mombasa sasa ofisi yao na wakaniambia ngoje one week uh, after one week uh, nini itakuwa imefika visa so nikarudi back to Nairobi uh, nikaka kama one week kweli visa ikatoka within two weeks nikaambiwa tiketi iko tayari unajua inafika point hata ufikiri like uogopi like as in like opportunity kikuja mbele yako unasema let me take the risk because uh, nakumbuka tuki grow tukiwa wadogo ilifika mali life ilikuwa ngumu sana kukanjoa ilikuwa ni kitu normal sasa kwetu and uh, at that time tulikuwa tunaenda shule tulikuwa tusha stop because babangu ni mgonjwa mamangu hakuwa na job na sisi ndio tulikuwa wadogo nilikuwa I was in class 3 na brother yangu alikuwa class 4 but inafika mali mnaenda shule leo mnarudishwa so ilifika mali mamangu akasema no hakuna haja muende shule so we were not going to school na sisi ndio tulikuwa tunata tunaenda kutafuta na tunaleta tulikuwa tukifanya kibarua hata nakumbuka mamangu akienda kibarua but akawa anasema alipo pesa after mshafanya kibarua alikuwa anasema alipo mahindi na hii mahindi tulikuwa tunakula for three days tulikuwa tukikaranga so ukikumbuka venye life ilikuwa kitambo na life inataka kukulemea mpaka ukiwa mkubwa unasema no wacha tuniende ni jaribu and that's why hizo ndio vitu zenye zilifanya sana sana nisiogope kwenda Saudi nikasema afadhali mimi niteseke lakini mtoto wangu asiteseke wacha nijaribu cuz niko na mtoto mwenye ananiangalia i remember this time um, both of my parents walikuwa washakufa uh, so najua ilikuwa ni kama sasa mimi ndo naamua nisipoamua niamue is up to me um for me my dad's death ili ni affect being that i was very close to my dad uh yani ilifanya nika withdraw uh nikakuwa mtu anaka peke yake uh mtu mwenye yani kuongea ilikuwa ni ngumu nikakuwa mtu sasa mtu wa kunyamaza sana and nakumbuka hata mamangu akinitia waombaji ati waniombe i think mamangu alikuwa anaona ni kama na cheesy because i would wake up very early in the morning na naenda tu kando ya, ya nyumba pale babangu alikuwa amezikwa alafu na kapo na nyamaza same same thing kifika jioni pia naona ni kae peke yangu so vitu kama hizo zilini affect and uh, i have never recovered and also um ilifika to 206 mamangu tena kaanza kugonjeka and mimi mimi ndio nilikuwa na mamangu hospitali and uh, tulikuwa kericho so after mamangu akwa mgonjwa tukaadmitiwa uh, kericho 
Kero chetu lika for one full month. Mamonga kwa mgonjwa. Mi ndo likuwa msichana mkubwa. As in, brother zangu, mkubwa likuwa mbrother, but angeweza kujo kana mam. Hawa ingine walikuwa wadogo. So, mi ndo likuwa mtu, at least. So, nilikuja, nilienda kericho, nikakana mamangu for one month. Haikuwa raisi. Uliku napata saa zingine kwa hiyo bed melazwa. Unapata mgonjwa. Mamangu likuwa na share bed na mgonjwa. Saa zingine umtu ameletwa, anakufa ukiona hivi so vitu kama hizo zinaku ingilia zinakushika sometimes unaona mamako ame amekuwa amekusahau kwa sababu nina alikuwa na lose pia memory nina anakuuliza we ni nani after a while tushazo ya hapo hospitali kulikuwa na daktari mwingine alikuwa anaitwa dr Njoroge now dr Njoroge alianza ni kama ananikatia sasa kuna siku nilikuwa naenda kubai maziwa. Kuzi time mamangu sasa alikuwa mgonjwa, alikuwa ameingiziwa pipe kwa pua, alikuwa kuli. So nimetoka nje naenda kubai maziwa. Na nikakutana na Dr. Njoroge. Yeye pia alikuwa anaingia shift. And he was a married man, nakumbuka. Alikuwa anaingia shift na mimi na, natoka nje. Tulikuwa nje ya ghetto. Dr. Njoroge ananiambia, "We, Helen, kuja." Because now alikuwa amenijua, walikuwa amenizoea. Because to make up or study for long. So I said, Helen, come on. I said, I'm going to go to the house. I said, I'm going to go to the house. I said, no. I'm going to go to the house. You can imagine my mother is sick. She's in pain. I said, I'm going to go to the house. I said, I'm going to go to the house. When I refused, I'm going to create another problem. The same, same day, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. Mamangu kuzidiwa, mwenye likuwa renda kumuita, is also Mr. Njoroge. Nikaenda kwa Mr. Njoroge, nikambia please, come check on my mom. Mamangu nikama nazidiwa, nikama naenda. So unajua na ugopa, na ungea, na lia, and Mr. Njoroge ananiambia, okay, nakuja. The first time, the second time, nikaenda tena, nikamuita, please kuju umangalia mamangu. Nikaniambia nakuja. He? The third time now, nikawana nikama, eh, Mr. Njorogi, eh. Nikenda nikawambia, please, tafadhali, kucha tu mwangalia mamangu, one minute, because mamangu, nikama anazimia. Kuzi alikuwa nikama anazimia. And that's when Mr. Njorogi told me the unthinkable. Mr. Njorogi, haka niambia, haka niambia, first haka niangalia, haka niambia, wewe msichana. Sini mekwambia na kuja. And I can only share files, cause Apo Ju was self cool, go on a file. I think while we were in and Mr. Njoroge, I can only be. We don't have these files all day. We just went on a So your mother will not be the first one. Yani ni likuwa zileza. Uju uliye, uju kasirike, uju ende wapi, uju onge na nani na ukutu peke yako. So that night. By the grace of God, my mom managed to stay through the night, Pakasubui. And uh, unfortunately, after one week, we lost her. That also affected me. Sana, 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 sana. Because now, Unona, Nilibaki, Pekiangu. As in now, Niliona, Nikama, Nibaki, Pekiangu. Auna mtu wakuangia na ye. Auna mtu. Like, ili ni affect. And so, venye opportunity ya kuenda Saudi ili kuja. Siku fikiria sana. Like, nilikuwa na mambo mob sana nyumba angu zenye. Zikuwa zina nivuta enye. Niliona tu niende. Kwa siku taka. Zile mateso zinirudie tena. And also nilikuwa na mtoto kuna sema hapana. And that's why nili make your decision ya kuenda Saudia haraka. And so finally the day came. Siku ya kutravel. Ya kuenda kupanda ndege. <laughs> so yu siku ilifika. But uh, before that, nilikuwa nisha ambiwa nili contract niya two years. Tho sikuwa nimepewa any papers ya kusign ama anything. Yu siku nikienda, siku takamu shongwa nione. 
So nilitoka asubuhi. Actually hiyo ndio kitu nilifanya nikarauka sana before amke. Sikutaka nione ati naenda. Sikutaka ile maswali anaona mamake ati mama unaenda wapi and unajua tu hautai muona for two years it was too painful for me kumuona so that's why nikaona fadhali nitoke asubuhi nisimuone so nikaenda kama melala nikamwacha na aunt yangu nili break nili break sharja and then after sharja tukafika Saudi sasa riyadh kufika riyadh eh culture shock ya kwanza ilikuwa ni nini joto. weather joto uliko unasikia ni kama hiyo joto ndi, ndi una breathe hakuna fresh air kuna joto uko na njaa joto language au ski wanaongea kiarabu arabic kuna wenye ukifika saudia unaenda kwanza kwa ofisi naenda kwanza kwa ofisi but mimi sikuenda kwa ofisi nilikujua direct kwa airport na huyo mdosi he came na bibi yake uh, wakakuja au wenyewe wakanichukua from the airport tuka drive wao mzee aka drive mpaka kwa nyumba kufika kwa nyumba unakutana na watoto <laughs> wanakusalimia in arabic na welevi of course before you start working actually the first thing wanafanyanga ni wanachukua passport the moment tunaingia hiyo bag yako weki tu unaleta hapo wana check first what is inside kama mulikuwa mbeba anything wana check uh, alafu wanachukua passport any documents yenyeweza kuwa nayo wanachukua my first month atukuongea about salary cuz nilikuwa na jo nikitoka hapa unaambiwa unaenda kulipwa 900 real 900 real ni kama 26000 Kenya shillings so nilikuwa obviously nilikuwa najua ni 900 real so month ikaisha wakanipea pesa it was 900 real ndio nikajua kumbe oh, okay this is 900 real nikamwambia okay nilikuwa nat- nitakuwa natuma akaniuliza utakuwa na save ama utakuwa natuma wanakuuliza of course so mimi nikasema nitakuwa natuma 500 na save 400 and then hiyo time si kwa na simu nilikuwa nilienda bila simu so vile niliwambia tu ikakuwa ni hivyo um tukiwa training tulifundishwa usi save pesa kwa nyumba cuz hizo ndio zenye tulikuwa tunafundishwa some of the things that tulikuwa tunafundishwa ni how to save your money unaweza fungua bank account na niende atakufungulia ama unaweza kuwa na save uh, unatuma yote home pia kutuma yote home pia ni risk wezi jua so alafu then tukaambiwa ukisave kwa nyumba one day wanaweza amka tu na waseme pesa yao imepotea na wakuja wachukue pesa yako you never know so tukambiwa pia ni riski kuweka pesa kwa nyumba so mi ile option nilibaki nayo ni kuwapea waniweke so mzee akaniambia me i've got no problem nitakuwekea tu pesa i will keep your money very well ah nikamwamini and then nilikuwa fresh kwenda country sijui bado wajui so mi nikampea for me kuamka ilikuwa ina depend na ile time nimelala unaona cuz ulikuwa unapata most of the time like not most of the time i think in your time your time ilikuwa saudia nilikuwa nikilala saa 10 asubuhi the reason why nilikuwa nalala saa 10 asubuhi nilikuwa nikiamka tena nimelala saa 10 by saa tatu nitaamka na hiyo kama watoto waendi shule watu watoto wakienda shule inabidi na break usingizi saa moja na wa prepare wanaenda shule and then narudi kulala kama wana watena so nilikuwa na like kitu kama 4 hours na hiyo 4 hours si hata 4 hours ume break so nilikuwa naamka saa tatu unaanza na mbona breakfast ukimaliza breakfast ndio unaanza kufagia by the time unamaliza breakfast na wakule it's almost 12 ama 1 pm unajua unataka ufagie unataka uosha nyumba and kuosha nyumba si kufagia tu kwanza una vacuum machine kuna vacuum machine you have to vacuum machine hizo carpet kwanza uzi fold uziweke kando ukuje tena vacuum machine uh, floor and then sasa ulete maji na hiyo maji hautaanza na floor direct utaanza na ukuta kwanza like ukuta hey 
unasubua ukuta yote like mse yote mwenye anafanya kazi Saudi anaelewa Clorex mwanzo kuna kitu inaitwa Clorex hiyo ni jik yao and then wanakuambia mix na vinegar white vinegar ukimix Clorex na vinegar inakosa ni acid oh my god and then inakata mkono uki inhale hiyo eh, nini hiyo harufu inaku yani inakumiza hata after that uwezi pumua vizuri so sana sana ilikuwa unaambiwa eka clorex na vinegar so hata ku clean si rahisi so by the time unaweza ku clean ndio lunch imefika nitaka unapike lunch so inabidi una break unaenda unapika lunch after umaliza lunch and then you will continue so ulikuwa unapata nilikuwa sipati time ya kupumua hata nilikuwa sipumziki upati time unajipata unafanya kazi the whole day the whole night also unakuwa unafanya kazi day and night cuz in between unapata kuna watoto wanakuita unaogesha wanasumbua pia and then kuna sasa mama wangu alikuwa queen okay si wote wako hivyo but uh, wangu alikuwa kama queen mbona ulikuwa naika maji kwa bathtub lazima ujaze maji after that ataingia after some times akishajiosha atakuita umsugulie mgongo unasugua mgongo akimaliza kuoga una arrange nguo ya kuvaa after that nitaenda ni massage migu. after my massage migu nitasa pumzike so unaona hizi vitu zote unapata tu time inaenda time inaenda upate hata time ya kupumzika So unajipata by hata saa nane bado naosha nyumba. By then nilikuwa nikosha usiku nilikuwa sana sana usiku nilikuwa nikosha nyumba, mchana napika na kuwashughulikia. And then kama wamelala ama sasa wameenda huko kwa malls cause pia usiku ndio wanaenda kwa ma malls na hizo. So unapata wakitoka ama wamelala ndio mimi nipate time ya kuosha. And that's why sana sana nilikuwa nalala saa kumi asubuhi. Si kupenda kwangu. So umefanya kazi una expect mtu at least akuone huruma akwambie nao pumzika hata 30 minutes majoi na make sense utakao umepumua but hakuna kitu kama hiyo i think the fact that wanakuanga wametoa pesa ndio uende wanaona ni kama wamekununua sasa unakuwa property yao they can use you vile wanataka and also ndio wakulipe unakuanga ume sweat like wanakufanyisha kazi real work si jokes unafanya job hawataki wako radhi wa create tu kazi yoyote ili wakuone busy you have to get busy pia huko kuna watu tofauti tofauti unaweza enda nyumba upate mama yende anapika ako jikoni yende anashughulika mipando ya kupika nyumba zengine kama yangu sasa ilikuwa ni mama ho jikoni na yeye ilikuwa ni maji na stima walikuwa wapatani Hakuna siku yoyote nishaiona au mama amengea jikoni. Alikuwa na chungulia hivi jikoni akikwambia eh ama anakitaka glass anakwambia tu nipatie glass anachungulia hako anaingia jikoni. And then unapata time ya Ramadhan kuna kupika ile serious. So nilikuwa na mostly nilikuwa napata hard times in Ramadhan cuz Ramadhan ni kupika usafi wageni hizo kazi zote nilikuwa nafanya. So unapata Ramadhan ndo yani siko na lala Rama, in Ramadhan nilikuwa na lala saa mbili asubuhi ni amke saa si, saa tano. Saa tano, saa tano na nusu. Cuz by the time wanaanza kufunga around 4 AM alafu wanze kulala 3:30 wanakula. 4 wamefunga. Ndio malize kula, wanze kosha viombo, u clean jikoni unapata unamaliza 6 actually nilikuwa nikienda kutupata kataka asubuhi na kuna jua na waka nikitoka huko niende Saudia nilikuwa na jua naenda fanya job and uh, of course nilikuwa na jua kazi ni ngumu but i was so ready to work cuz nilikuwa na jua nilikuwa ni macha mtoto nyumbani and situation venye ilikuwa venye ilikuwa nyumbani so nilikuwa ready to work so hata hivi kulala saa kumi, ati nini vinye. like unaona kuna challenges zilikuwa but nilikuwa ready kuvumilia because nilijua after all itafika mali takuja nimalize
But if you got time, nikaona ni kama nimesukumwa paka mwisho. Like unasema ah nitabumilia. But inafika mali unasema he kama ni mbaya mbaya. Nimeza kama 9 months hivi. And then uh, kijana wake mkubwa akamvunja kitu ya mama yake. Like it was an expensive thing. Akavunja but ile by mistake. So I think wanaangalianga tu hawa wasichana, hawa ni watu wa kuwekelewa tu kitu. Hawakubali wamfanya kitu. As in wanakuona tu wewe ni mtu. Wewe ni mtu tu. Wanaweza kukelea kitu and hakuna shida. No big deal. So akasema ati aliniona nayo. And hiyo kitu ni kitu yenye kaka kwa rubi yake. Si kitu yenye si place uta unaenda hata actually si kwa anaingia kwa hiyo room. And so mama akasema atani punish. Na punishment ilikuwa ni ufanye kazi. Like kusugua ukuta. Unaona ile na sugua ukuta. Ilikuwa ni kama double. Me the following day nikasema mimi ni nani? Nikufia hapa na kitu sijafanya. The following day mimi nikatoroka. Asubuhi na mapema. Let me take you back. Nikitoka hapa nikiwa kwa airport. Tulipewa t-shirt. Wasichana wote wenye walikuwa na safari wa kwenda Saudi walipewa t-shirt. And then your t-shirt imeandikwa namba nyuma. Ya namba na ofisi na street name ya huko Saudi. So hiyo t-shirt ndio ni save. Nikafikiria tu we sina namba, sina simu. Nini nitafanya? So t-shirt nikachukua, hiyo t-shirt imeandikwa namba na iko na street name pale pale hizo ofisi ziko. So nilichukua hiyo t-shirt nikaficha because wezi toka na bagi tena. And also passport wako nayo. Alafu pia wezi beba bagi. So nilisneak tu kidogo. Ni kama naenda ku kupata kataka. And mostly wasiana wao wanatoka hivyo. Wezi beba bagi. Actually nilikuwa nakimbia na sitaki kuonekana nakimbia mtu anaweza kukushika eti umetoroka. So nilikuwa natembea haraka haraka nikiona kuna mtu nakimbia. Mungu akatuma jamaa mwingine hapo. Ati alikuwa anenda kubai lunch, akaniona ni kama niko in trouble. Aka kuja akaniuliza you want taxi? Nikamwambia yes, I want taxi. Na kwa mtu wa taxi. But alikuja akaniuliza you want taxi? Nikamwambia yes, I want taxi. Nikamwonyesha hiyo t-shirt, akaona hiyo namba and then akapiga kwa ofisi. Huo mtu akwa msaudi, alikuwa Egyptian. So akapiga simu na akaambiwa pale ofisi iko and then akani drop huko. Another problem ukifika huko kwa ofisi mdosi wako anapigiwa. But nilikuwa nimesema nataka kubadilishiwa nyumba, sirudi kwa ile nyumba. Walikuwa naomba nikirudi kwa hiyo nyumba nitakufa, nitauawa. Cuz now umeshatoroka. Unapata msichana ukitoroka, the, ukirudi tu kwa hiyo nyumba, unapewa double punishment ndio napata watu wengine wana sasa wanakuua wanakutreat sasa na madharau zaidi cuz ulitoroka but mimi nilazimishwa kwa ofisi niliambiwa mtu amelipa pesa nyingi hakuna nyumba anabadilishwa nilishamaliza 3 months cuz unaambiwa unaweza complain within 3 months na ubadilishwe nyumba na mimi nika 9 months so i had no choice tradition ndani But hiyo time yote nimefunga macho naomba naomba Mungu please we nisaidie kuingia ilikuwa ni usiku so tulirudi usiku nikaacha nikalala the following day night time ikaanza kuna time ona, nilikuwa na nyimwata chakula and then sasa walikuwa wame double oh mother alikuwa ame jam sasa so alikuwa ame double hiyo jo hata kazi sasa wali ni mistreat but uh, o husband alikuwa na kama mtu mkweli yani alikuwa alikuwa na mtu anaelewa but later on nikarudi nika realize wote tu walikuwa wabaya hakuna mzuri mtu mzuri huo baba alikuwa akinipia simu once kwa wiki siku moja nikachukua simu nikasema nikamwambia mwenye nilimwachia mtoto nikamwambia please nataka tuseme mtoto wangu amekufa irudi nyumbani siwezi ilikuwa ni ngumu nikaambia nataka tuseme mtu amekufa <laughs> nakaniambia hapana kemea pepo omba Mungu akupe grace na utamanage you will do it omba Mungu akupe grace 
si kwa na otherwise but kuvumilia cuz kitu kama pesa already walikuwa wananiekea so unaona ningevumilia tu but uh, i really thank god because ile nusu nilikuwa nikituma home Nashukuru Mungu ilikuwa ina manejiwa vizuri. Mtu mwenye alikuwa na shika hii pesa. Yaani hiyo ndio one part. Hiyo na kuanga grateful kila siku. Nilikuwa natuma pesa monthly and then ilikuwa ina budgetiwa yenye imebaki anakwambia imebaki anakuwekea kwa account. So yani home siezi regret kwa nilituma pesa. Nashukuru sana. And also mtu wangu alikuwa anaenda shule. Alikuwa amebaiwa school uniform books as in like ili tumika. So nilifanya kazi Saudia mwaka wa kwanza, mwaka wa pili. And then uh, of course nilikuwa na join kitoka hapa. Contract ni ya 2 years. So hiyo mwaka wa pili nilikuwa nibakisha kama 7 months, 2 years ishi. As in hiyo sasa ushakuwa na ile morale kwa namaliza whatever comes my way lazima nitaipiga, nitasonga. So nilikuwa nibakisha kama 7 months na maliza Ah, uh, time ndio watu walikuwa wakichukua vaccine. So mimi nikaanza ku calculate, okay. Unachukua vaccine, uh, first dose unaka 3 months alafu unachukua nyingine. So nika calculate, nikasema eh inafaa nianze saa hii. Hapo ndio nikaenda hao watu nikaambia uh, kama inawezekana unipeleke usi ni dungo shindano. Hapo ndio saa tena nikapewa bombshell. Um, mama akaniambia kwa nini? Nikamwambia si niko karibu kwenda nyumbani, niko karibu kumaliza contract. Mama akaniambia, "Yeah, Ellen. Why do you want to take vaccine now and you still have a long way to go? Is your English though broken? You still have a long way to go." Nikamwambia, eh. "Akaniambia, you came here for three years." Actually alikuwa ameniambia 4 years but akaniambia vile uko na mtoto utaka tu 3 years alafu uende. Nikamwambia contract gani 3 years? Akaniambia no. Hii sasa si contract. Mi sasa ni mimi na wewe na government yangu. Like kuna tu njia wana wanafikiria wanaweza kudanganya na uamini. So ananiambia hii sasa ni between me and my government na wewe. Nikamwambia hapana. But hiyo time sasa nilikuwa nishabai simu. Nikambia pana, nikambia madam no. Mimi, niko na mtoto nyumbani. Utani release, niende nyumbani, and then I will come back. Haka niambia, okay. You will go and come back, okay. But, uh, before ukienda, utaacha half of your salary ukienda. So that ujue kama utarudi. You will leave for us half of your salary. When you come back, we'll give you. Nikaona hiyo pia yuwezi make. Nikambia tu pana. I will go and come back. So hiyo ndo time sasa nikaanza kumtafuta agent. Remember all this time nilikuwa napita hizi vitu, si kwa mpiga agent. But hii ya kurudi home, unajua when I was going through all this, nilikuwa najua hizi tu ni mapito. Like I can handle this. Ndarudi home. But so ilifika point yenye sasa kurudi home, tena inakuwa ni ngumu. No, hapo sasa ndio nikaona hapana. Nikaanza kumtafuta agent. Because uma mata hiyo time akiniambia hivyo nilikuja for three years. Alikuwa na niambia, wasiona wakikuja hapa kwangu. Mindo wanaambia time ya kutoka. And then when I tell them that, wanakuambia they shabat. Yani shabat, yani they shut up. Wanakuambia, and then they shabat. They don't talk after that akisha sema period. Yani that's it. Unangoja. So after a lot of struggles, finally, walirusu niende nikue vaccinated. Yeah, the first one and the second one. So nika jua niko, niko poa. But hiyo hiko inamanisha kuwa wameni, wameni rusu ni rudi ho. So by this time nikuwa nimeleza sasa contract. Kuzi nikuwa nimeleza contract February. Apo mbele kulikuwa na Ramadhan. Ramadhan likuwa nafanyika April. Nainesha May apo ikianza anza. So mama kasema ni sawa nataka kuenda because sasa nilikuwa nime insist. Akasema ni sawa kama nataka kuenda. Ngoja Ramadhan ishe. You add another three months. After Ramadhan, you will go. We will release you. Of course, bila niliambiwa hivyo, si kwa na any other option but ku, kuka. So nikaamua pia 
Ramadhani itakuja naishi. Pale nimetoka ndio mbali. Pale naenda ni karibu. So nikasema tu sina option nyingine nikae. So ipi rudi ya kukaa ya kungoja Ramadhani ishe just before Ramadhani yanze. Nilikuwa na malaika wangu hapa kwa nyumba. Huu mzee mimi nilikuwa namjua because hata home nilikuwa nikipiga nilikuwa nikimpraise tu nilikuwa nasema eh hey, mzee ni mzuri ako na utu ako understanding ni mtu anaelewa little did i know because every weekend umama umama alikuwa akienda salon na anabeba watoto wake wasichana wanaenda salon and then wale wakubwa pia wanaenda zao wanaenda kutembea so mzee siku moja akapeleka watu wake kama kawaida so mimi najua ni kitu normal anawapeleka anarudi so isi kwa karudi akafunga mlango kama kawaida as you expect kitu yote and also i'm telling you zile mango watu wanavaa huko ama design yenye watu wanakaa huko haiwezi kafanya haiwezi atafanya mwanaume kwe mm. attracted to you ama vitu kama hizo cuz unavaa dera on top of dera unavaa buibui umefunga kitambara like you have no business in whatsoever vitu kama hizo. So hisi kwa kakuja, haka funga mlango, si ni kawaida yake, haka funga. Eh, nilikuwa kitchen. After kidogo nasikia mtu amekuja kitchen. Anakuliza tu kitu, tu. And then haka songea karibu. So huko ile proseso unachemsha kofi, unaona mtu ameingia. Amekusongelea. Alafu wewe pia unasonga. And then anasonga. And then mwisho pa mkono. All of a sudden, umze ali 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 turn into mtu mwenye yani simjui kama beast. Yaani alikuwa tu. And then tukaanza ku struggle. Tuko jikoni, akafunga moto. Namwambia what are you doing? What are you doing? What if madam comes? This is not right. Wewe unajaribu kuambia hizo vitu sana, nakwambia shut up. Do you want me to close this door? Sasa afunge sasa mlango wa jikoni. Do you want me to close this door? Kambia no. Si yule mtu ulikuwa namjua yule mpole. Anaongea, ana, ana, ana shout, anakuwa kama simba. Tukamenyana, anajaribu kuvulia hizo nguo, unakataa, unaji, unajifinya. <sighs> Tulimenyana and finally because bibi yake alikuwa anapenda kumpigia. But before simi ring alikuwa ameni harass to the highest level like i didn't believe so me baki na dera anajaribu kuvua hiyo dera ingi anajibu kuingiza mkono anataka kuingize mkono unamtoa unamshika and so ilikuwa ni kama 30 minutes ya ku struggle ile kali because uwezi kubali mtu akufanyie kitu kama hiyo easily and also okay imagine pale uko ile kitu mbaya nilifanya aliniingiza vidole but ku struggle simi kalia and then akaenda kushika then after that akaenda bathroom na nikaenda mimi pia bathroom like nilikuwa naona ni kama ni ndoto ni kama naota ama nilikuwa naona ni kama nimeenda into another world yenye hata sikuwa in a kama nightmare i cried for 30 good minutes hiyo kitu kin happen here ili ni affect sana and uh, the reason why it affect sana nikiwa around 11 years i used to live with my cousin cousin yangu ali ni it's like ali niuza koza uh, alikuanga na rafiki yake mkubwa tu alikuwa nikiangalia sasa alikuwa kama around 35 years and he was a family man mtu alikuwa na familia so one day mtu alikuwa akikuja and so he siko alikuwa amekam just like any other day amekuja wakaongea and then nikaona ni kama it's like alipewa kitu and hii kitu alipewa ni mdo so bila alipewa do bila alimaliza kuongea nikaambiwa ni ni mwescot just before tufike kwa barabara nikaona amenishika mikono wewe rafiki ya kazini yangu 
So mimi kwa kile nasema oh okay amenishika mikono maybe tuna tuna nini tuko karibu kufikia barabara so ananishika Hii time huko kazi yangu sambaki kwa nyumba na bibi yake because alikuwa mtu wako na bibi na watoto So mbaki kwa nyumba na mimi naenda but nikitoka nilikuwa najua tunda tu dukani maybe ni baiwe kitu nirudi cause ni usiku na ni mimi ni mdogo shwali anaenda wapi and then ikafika mali aka branch and still bado amenishikilia aka branch and then uh, muhoroni kuna miwa as in kuna miwa tu shamba huko kuna miwa huko kuna miwa so ame branch the moment ali branch i think hapo ndo akili yangu sasa kaanza kufikiria tunaenda wapi akavunguo akanipulia nguo akanilisha chini and all this time namuuliza unafanya nini anakuambia funga mdomo like ana ana kufunga mdomo anakuambia sh but siku fight i was only 11 years old so siku ana ile kufikiria ati unaweza fight na mtu and also ni mtu mkubwa una imagine anafanya nini in the process ulikuwa na tuna nasikia ni kama vitu zina break like eh hakujali alimaliza akanivalisha nguo nakumbuka siko natembea vizuri still bado alishikila mkono akanirudisha Kwenye tukua tuna approach nyumba. Haka niachilia. Haka niambia niende. Mati kwa natembia vizuri. Nika fika huu. Nika ingia ndani. So ni kwa na expect. Uu kazi nyangu at least. Ata notice kitu. Because ata sikuwa neza kukachini. Nika expect at least. Ata expect. Ata notice kuna kitu mbaya imefanyika aniulize at least aniulize nimwambie nini imefanyika because sikuwa naweza kuongea tu nianze kusema ako aniuliza hiyo siku nililala but nilikuwa na uchungu kitu ajabu ni kwa hata bibi yake ako aniuliza kuna nini mbaya So nikiwa Saudia hiyo siku baba kini Haras ilifanya nifikirie vitu zile zilifanyikia nikiwa mdogo huko kazini yangu akiniuza akijaribu tena mara ya pili so hiyo siku it's like nilirudishwa nyuma tena niliona ni kama hiyo kitu inanihapenia tena sasa hiyo siku anafikiria i could not think straight nikiwa mdogo and then now mimi ni mama ya mtu and then mtu baada na kushika like hiyo kitu ndio ili hiyo ndio kitu yenye ilinifanya nika hata hiyo ramadhani kwa na sitamaliza as in hiyo time nilikuwa naona ni kama nita cheese and remember all those things that nilikuwa zikinifanyikia i had never shared it with anyone I have brothers, I have sisters, but si kwa share na mtu yote. And so even now, I mean even some of my brother, my my brothers, my sisters, wote wata shanga for the first time. This is the first time I'm opening up about them. But it's because I think isn't bitu zimekuwa zikini hold, zimenishikilia sana. Isn't of the It's like unataka uendelee mbele but you can't. Unakumbuka tu nyuma. Unakumbuka tu nyuma. So hizo ni vijana nimekuwa nikiweka for so long. 
by the time mzee alikuwa anakuja kunishika i could not nilikumbuka tu kitambo and i had to struggle hiyo incident as in that particular one hiyo kitu ndi as in ilifanya nikasema hata kama ni pesa acha ikae hata kama ni nini acha ikae like nilikuwa sasa nimesema bas kama ni mbaya mbaya i want to go home like now nataka kwenda nafaa kuwa nyumbani saa hii nishamaliza contract alafu na ngoja vitu kama hizi zinanifanyikia i could not take it i could not take it. zile kazi nilikuwa naweza vumilia but hii oil oh, nifikisha like nigonga mwamba nikasema hapana hapo ndo nikaanza kutafuta usaidizi sasa kwa kukuwa na mtu alikuwa anaweza kunisaidia agent alikuwa shagonga mwamba yeye alikuwa ananipea two false promises hapo ndo ni reach out to you just as nika reach out nika ku email nika ku email na ka reply ni reply haraka nikasema hey this is not true this is not just as maybe you too ni mtu si just as so nika nitaku text tena nikakwambia please nitumie namba cause i wanted to niku call at least nikueleze what is happening si kwa nataka kuandika nikakwambia uh, would you please help me with your number na ukanitumia namba immediately nikasema ha azi nilikuwa ni Mungu ame nilikuwa ni kama Mungu amenifungulia njia because sasa it's like njia zote zilikuwa zimefungwa i had try hata kuna hizo zengine chanzo zengine nilishaijaribu when you sent me the number nikakupatia namba yangu and then you called me hapo nilisikia ni kama azili ni feeling kama brother yangu ameni call na ako ready kunipatia solution because hiyo time nilikuwa nataka solution ya kwenda ya kurudi nyumbani that is all i wanted nilikuwa nataka nirudi home nikakwambia mimi nataka kutoka kwa nyumba and also sikutaka nianze kupigia watu wa home ama unaelezea watu wa home utawapia wasiwasi nini nafanyika then unaambia mtu hata kupia solution so i wanted to share it with someone mwenye alikuwa anaenda kunipatia solution na nisaidie na rudi home because my biggest problem ilikuwa ni kurudi home nilikuwa sasa nimeshapita time vitu zinani happenia i was confused at least ulini calm down na jo nilikuwa naona nitakimbia nilikuwa nataka kukimbia cuz na imagine u mama ajue mzee wake amenishika yeye atajua mzee wake alishika yeye atajua ni mimi nilijipeleka cuz unapata kesi zingine watu wanasema eti wasichana ndio wanaji wanapele wanaenda huko wanaenda kufanya wanaenda kulala nao mabosi ukienda huko unafanya job hata hauna hiyo time ya kufikiria kuwa natamlala na ubosi ama nini. Uh, ukanitisha namba namba ya agent and uh, namba ya mdosi uh, nikakutumia hizo namba. Hapo ndo kaanza kumpigia wa agent. Agent alikuwa amelala. Akiamua <laughs> Mungu amsaidie. Like anisamee but alikuwa amelala. Alinisahau. Alikuwa amelala. Asiye tisiku muelezea, nilimuelezea. Hapo ndo kaanza kumsukuma huyo agent. Agent akaanza kupiga simu. Ah uh, ofisi za Saudia, ofisi za Saudia zikaanza kumpressure huyu boss sasa. Hapo ndo sasa safari ikaanza fresh. At least hiyo pressure yulipe yule agent. Aka pressure wale, wale aka pressure mdosi. I think that is the reason why I'm here today. And so I think the pressure was now too much for them. And so waka waka nitengeneza ticket hata bila kuniambia but because nimezoea na la saa 10. So kuna hiyo saa 10 before nilale akaniambia no prepare yourself. Kifika asubuhi unaenda. Mimi nikasema okay, wacha ni prepare and then I prepared myself. After nilimaliza nao wakaingia kwa room wakaanza ku chukura bag langu waka fungwa fungwa bag i don't know wanafikiri maybe umechukua kitu and then hata siko na time ya kuiba hata unaiba nini unaiba uende nayo wapi so wakachukura bag and then first thing waliniuliza ni simu yangu wakaniambia 
give me your phone nika nika pea so mimi nadhani tu ile ya kawaida maybe wana check kama kuna picha yao nilipiga ama nini wa delete kitu kama hiyo waka flash kila kitu kwa simu and then wakaweka simu kando and then wakachukura bagi wakaika kando clothes zile ngozi zile nitoka nazo hapa zile nilibai nikiwa huko nilikuwa nanua moja moja azizi kwa clothes nzuri but zilikuwa zangu sweater nini wakachukua wakaika kando wakanipatia karatasi nyingine hapo ni sign kwa nimemaliza na wamenilipa nikiangalia wameandika hapo pesa yangu ni salary yangu ni 6000 savings yangu actually because ilikuwa ni zile na save so savings wakaandika ni 6500 real and that was half of my saving so yeye kuna maisha amechukua half wakanipea half and akaniambia you have to hurry up fanya haraka na ukichelewa hii pesa ndio tunachukua tunakatia nayo ticket nyingine sign haraka uende i had no choice nikaanza kulia nikafikiri maybe kulia itanisaidia it didn't work nikalia wakaniambia fanya haraka mimi nika sign because walikuwa washachukua simu wame flash sina contact ya mtu yote na nikatoka na hiyo pesa wako nipea in cash wakaniambia ukifika tutakutumia ukishafika nikamwambia usinipatie tu niende nayo wakasema no ukifika utupigie call me i will send you the money so hata nikikuja nilisema i suru nikibora nimfike home hata hiyo pesa nilikuwa najua. Mimi hawatatuma. Nilifika airport bila bag, bila nguo, bila simu, bila sweater. The only thing I had ni abaya. Abaya ni um, bui bui. Hiyo kitu ndio nilichukua nikavaa na nikakuja nikabea nipe sweater. Akasema no. Sweater utapata huko Kenya. Ni drop mpaka kwa airport. Huo mzee na kijana wake mmoja wakani drop. Waka make sure mpaka nimeingia ndani. Cuz wanafikiria maybe unaweza piga kona uende maybe kwa polisi ama nini. So I make sure nimeingia ndani kwa airport. But I was so ready to come back home. Nile nilikuwa nimechoka. Hata pesa ingebaki hakunge kuwa na shida. So nikafika home. So from Jomo Kenyatta to oh, Umoja. Alichukua kama 800. Tuliba again nikafika nikaambia watu nilipeni tu taxi we'll talk later so nimekuja na taxi so naulizwa iko wapi bagi like one expect two suitcase kama kadha nikaambia wait tutaongea and then kaingia ndani nilala for one week bila kuongea and then after two days homes yake auliza kama nimefika yeye ndiye aliuliza ile namba alikuwa akitumia pesa akatuma message akauliza ile na amefika ho kambiwa amefika mwenyewe tu akatuma hizo pesa zenye alikuwa anasema so in short alichukua half of my savings na kanitumia half ah i was very happy to be back at home yani hiyo ndio ilikuwa kitu ya kwanza mimi kuona na mtoto wangu i was very happy yani like hata hiyo pesa sikuwa naifikiria sana but kurudi home ilikuwa ilikuwa ni kama dream come true sho na ile uko mali and unafikiria nitarudi home aje cuz hakuna njia and finally unashtuke uko home so i was very very much happy i left school in class 6 i only reached class 6 and uh, so be a challenges sikuacha tu because mimi mtu nilikuwa napenda shule sana and my i really loved school I really do love school. I still do. Nikauliza mamangu kama siku nitaiongea English kweli now that siku anaenda shule. And then mamangu akaniuliza Helen. Ulipozaliwa ulikuwa unajua lugha yote nikamwambia ndo. Ulipoenda Nairobi ulikuwa unajua Kiswahili nikamwambia no. Akaniambia English is just like any other language. Utalan. Alikuwa ni encourage. Akaniambia utalan. Whether in school ama nyumbani utalan but uh, i really hope and pray that god will open ways for me to go back to school because yoni kitenye that is my dream yani kitenye natamani it's inside of me i really really wish and pray for that mungu atatenda okay, right now the little money i have naangalia mtoto so 
nasema fadhali mtutaende but also i want to go back to school and that's why now challenge kubwa ni the little i have naikea mtoto now sasa me and now that i'm not working hakuna pesa yote yenye naingia but um, i hope god will open ways for me well all in all i really thank god i want to thank god from the bottom of my heart like namshukuru mungu ile sana i thank god for walking with me through tangu nizaliwa mpaka sasa hii nashukuru wale watu walibaki na mshoto wangu i really thank them wale wale nishikilia upande wa pesa because at least walifanya kazi kidogo ikakuwa rais back home just as i really thank you so much e platform my day it is a blessed platform as in ni kama ministry may god bless you so much and thank you so so much